Newcastle United nil, Liverpool won. Well, we kind of expected a defeat, but at least it wasn't a heavy defeat. The that referee was terrible today. Uh, he was absolutely abysmal, Peter, I think it's fair to say. However, you know, when you look back at it, uh, we all thought it was a foul for the first goal, but when we've seen the replay, you know, Milner, it was a tackle and they're just a coming together, they got share injured. But you know what? Liverpool know they've been in the game today, and we all said before the game, if we went, if we lost the game, then what we wanted to see was at least Liverpool come off knowing they'd been in the game. And they have. You know, we didn't create much today, that's fair to say, but listen, we hung in there. And to lo- only lose 1 0 against the European, cha- well, potential European champions, league winners, they're one of the best teams in Europe. And we've only lost 1 0. Good sign of how far we've come, good sign of how far we've still got to go. Absolutely. I mean, this summer will be big for us, definitely. Um, again, I didn't get all the whistleblown, so many offsides that surely some of these can't be offside. Well, some of them probably not. I mean, Miggy's goal, he was about six yards offside, fair to say. But you know what? Sometimes, you know, we haven't seen the whole game back. Are they looking at it? Are our players actually looking across the line? There was one in the second half which Miggy was played through brilliantly by Shelby, and he was offside, or apparently offside. I haven't seen it back, but he should be looking along the line, you know. But uh, all in all, you know, we tried. We give them a game, and that's all we can ask from the team. Absolutely, I thought Julian was working his bollocks off again. I didn't think Maxi had a good game, unfortunately. I don't think Willick was that good as well. Willick, he flies to deceive at times, doesn't he? I mean, you know, he, he, he did some nice little turns, but, you know, sometimes he just doesn't seem like he's interested. He's got a very sort of Chris Waddleish look to him, like he doesn't sort of... But then all of a sudden he gets the ball and he's away. But he didn't have a great game. Maxi was poor. Um, you know, again, going back to trying to do too much on his own. Uh, Liverpool just swarmed around him and, and won the ball. Those players, sometimes players in support, but I think we paid them too much of respect at times during the game. You know, we, we stood off them a little bit too much. Um, but, you know, these the, Liverpool are a class outfit, you know, and 1 0. I mean, you know, you know as well as I do, Peter, had that been the start of the season, it would have been 6 7. Exactly, absolutely. Fabian Cher going off injured. Do you think that looks a bad one, the way he hobbled off the pitch? Yeah, he didn't look too comfortable. And when he went down, looking at him, trying to get down the tunnel, he didn't look comfortable either. So that may well be his season. Um, but, you know, we've got to come back stronger next season. We know it's going to be a big summer, like you say. So let's just hope we get the players in we need. We desperately need a striker. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, in midfield, uh, you know, get, you know, they're talking about Paqueta and things like that. I mean, there is positions, and it'll be interesting to see how good the players are that they bring in. Man City, a week tomorrow, it's going to be... It's going to be another horrible fixture. I know we're not going to get anything out of that. I can't say it, no. But again, I want to see us, you know, put in an effort. Don't don't just roll over for Man City. Um, you know that if we roll over against Man City, that's a bit disrespectful to us as fans and Liverpool themselves. They'll expect us to put on a fight like we've put on a fight today. And I don't see us getting anything there. But again, let's just give them a game and let them know after the 90 minutes they've been in a hard football match. Absolutely well. We'll be back here tomorrow for the women. Looking forward to it. Yeah, very much so. Uh, you know, I'm bringing the family along, and I think it'll, uh, you know, they want to come back to St James's Park, and I think there'll be a, f- a few thousand here tomorrow by the sound of things. Pay on the door, three quid, free for kids. Um, yeah, we'll all be here to cheer them on and good luck to them. Absolutely brilliant. Dean Newcastle United nil, Liverpool one. We all know Liverpool have got quality, at least. We didn't get completely rolled over the day, that's the main thing. I agree, I agree. I think we didn't get rolled over, we gave it a good goal, but at the end of the day, Liverpool know why they they are the best team in Europe, and plus they're challenging for the title, and plus also they're in the semi-final of the Champions League, they're in the FA Cup final, they recently won the League Cup. At the end of the day, we gave it our best, but at the end of the day, it was just not good enough. Certainly wasn't. We know it wasn't a foul, Milner did win the ball, but the referee was terrible today. I agree, it was. The referee was absolutely shocking. I don't know what he was doing. I thought one minute he was giving fouls, giving fouls on us, and then the next minute giving fouls on Liverpool, and Liverpool complained. And then Jurgen Klopp complained on a few challenges. That, to be honest, they were not really But the first goal, yeah, I agree on that. Murder did win the challenge. At first, I thought, yep, he did make a bad challenge. It was really bad. I thought it was a foul. And... To be honest, referee did the right thing, just carried on playing, and that's what happens. When you carry on playing, the goal will score. And look what happened, Marnie scored one of the goals. Oh, it was actually Keita who got the goal. Keita who got the goal. Um, 
Um, Man City away, I think we can expect that to be a write-off. I hate to say it, yes, because we see it being dominated this season and where they win in every game. Yes, hate to say it, but if we give a go against City, that's what we have to do. We have to give it a go. If we give a go, and then at least we've got a chance. But all I'll see the next tough games, I'll say draws, because it's just one of those games you just don't know what to expect. But to be fair, we gave it a good go against Liverpool, but Liverpool on the day were a good possession of us. Yes, we did cause a bit of a frustration on them at the moment, but at the end of the day, it was just maximum was not as bad. Well, it, did all, it was awful, but it was just not the way we were supposed to play. But Chris Wood came on, he didn't show no passion going forward or anything else. All he did was just force on the middle, that was it. It just shows we need a striker in in the summer massively well. The summer's going to be big for us, isn't it? That's what the fans are looking at. They're looking at who we're going to, who we're going to bring in in the summer transfer. I said at first we'll probably get seven or eight signs, but at this market with players coming in and in and out, we don't know what to expect. I'd be happy with five signs if we get two strikers, two midfielders, probably an extra defender just in case if one of the key defenders get injured. The goalkeeper situation, I'll give Mondo back a chance to see what he can do for next season and we'll see from there from next season. Yeah, of course, Fabian Cech had to go off injured. Do you think that looks a worry the way he hobbled off the pitch? Yeah, definitely a show because I hate to say it because Fabian Cech, yes, he's been brilliant this season. Yes, he had a bit of a shaky start at the start of the season, but this season, whatever has done to him has been fantastic and he truly deserved to get a two-year extension. Yeah, I hate to say he does look bad and I'm hoping that it's not worse than we first thought. We just have to wait if he's going to be available for the City game. If not, then it looks like he'll be out for the rest of the season. Absolutely. Well, we'll be back here tomorrow for the women's game. I think it'll be a great turn out tomorrow. Oh, definitely sure. I'll really look forward. I've been watching the women's game now for since 2017, and where they've come so far is fantastic. The way they've done this season, fantastic. And after the game, they're going to deserve a standing ovation because where they played this season is unbelievable. And the best thing in that they're going to be, this is their dream. That's what they want to do. They want to play at St James Park in front of... We don't know how many fans will turn up if it was 1,000. 3,000, there's been reports saying it'd be 15,000 to 10, that'd be insane if 15,000 to 10 that game. But all we do is just enjoy the day and hopefully we might see the women's game at St. James a couple of times next season. You never know. The owners might be kind to us, so you never know. That's it. Right, brilliant. Watching Newcastle nil, Liverpool won. We're disappointed we've lost, but we haven't lost uh, by many, that's the main thing. But, um, of course, it wasn't a foul, but the referee was pathetic today, wasn't he? Yeah, the referee was absolutely an absolute joke. He shouldn't. Uh, he's not fit to referee. He's absolutely appalling. Uh, but on on that note, uh, like we gave it a go, Tyler Conde. Um, we tried our best, but uh, Le- Liverpool um, obviously beat beat with one out. Well. But obviously, at the end of the day, like we're we're basically safe. Um, that's how we can. That's the main thing. I mean, we know some of these players aren't good enough. We can tell we need a striker. Chris Wood, we know it's not the answer. So we need someone new in the January. Um, definitely. Um, but again, I just didn't get the referee blown for a free kick foul every time. Did you? No, like I just didn't get it. Like every time. Uh, what one of our one every time uh, one of our players got guns doing like he doesn't he doesn't even blow his whistle he just let allows play on even though it was a tackle. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Of course, Manchester City. Do we expect that to be a write off on the week tomorrow? Yeah. Man City. Yeah, uh, Man City are going to torture us next. Well, it's just as long as we're giving a go, that's the main thing. Because under Bruce, this would have been more than 1 0. You're looking at about 5 or 6. The same thing. I, I, even if we were, if, if we were under Bruce, we'll, obviously we'll be getting slaughtered 3, uh, three 4 0. But like, if we get beat, like, say, 2 0 or something, at least we'll give it a go. Like. Yeah, that's the main thing. I know, anyhow, we'll want to make sure the lads uh, definitely have a good. Uh, that's the main thing. Well, of course, I'll be out tomorrow because we know the women are playing. What an opportunity it is for them for tomorrow. Uh, it is. It's a wonderful opportunity for the uh, Newcastle women's. 
play, playing yeah, at St James Park for the first time, so obviously the support, um, our Newcastle f- supporters will uh, give them a, a good boost and obviously they deserve it. Look, look at what they've achieved and obviously under our new um, ownership, uh, Man of Stavely and all that, they have literally backed the women up from day one. That's the main thing. Right, come on, and we've got to hear a funny moment. I think you can give it towards the referee. Oh, Andre Mauna, you're, you're absolutely shite. What, you literally don't deserve the fucking referee. What an absolute bell end. <laughs> Here you are. I need a drink, I need a drink. <laughs> John, John, Newcastle United nil, Liverpool 1. We're disappointed, but... Um, it's a very good Liverpool side, but the main thing is we haven't been completely rolled over. It wasn't a foul. He did win the ball, Milner or Fabian Chair, but um, the referee was still crap the day. Do you know what it is, Pete? Oh, I think this referee is from Merseyside. I can't lie. He is from Merseyside. I'm pretty sure he is, right? All the decisions gone against us today, right? And you know what it is, right? I mean, I thought Newcastle did okay. I mean, in parts and bits, kept the ball well. We are hurting Liverpool. That is the thing. But you're right. Liverpool are a world-class team all over the pitch. They're quick. They press you. They frustrate you. And they get the ball and come out with pace. Win the ball pace. Counter attack as well. We just can live another time. But Sadio Mane today, again, was absolutely fantastic. And I hope ASM, I've got to come to in a bit, learns from the sky. That's the thing. I mean, I thought ASM was poor the day. I thought Willick was poor the day as well. Chris Wood, when he came on, just didn't make a difference. We know we need a new striker in and we need to fill in a couple of areas in the pitch of the summer. Absolutely. I mean, Eddie Howell's played the ball out from the back. Well, he ain't got a play has to do it. Yeah, Feynman Shah could. Yeah, Dan Burn could. Right, but we need to play the ball, play, play the ball out from the back. We need a goalkeeper. Yeah, no disrespect to Martin, but we need someone. I'll give him a name, right? I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, Arban Lafont. He used to play Fiantina, now plays for Nantes in France. This guy is such an underrated keeper. Why do you not go out and get this guy? Yeah, just pay the money and get this guy over. He's brilliant on his feet. And I tell you what, he is fantastic. But you're right. I mean, ASM, yeah, listen, I like him. I'm a fan of him. But I've got to call him. I just don't think it's good enough. I really don't. Today, he was poor. Yeah. And also, I've heard people saying, sell him, sell him. Yeah. But this year, he's got zero assists, zero goals. Right. If the members are right, he only said one assist against Everton. Right. But since then, I've not seen a great game for ASM. I just haven't. At the end of the day, right, we need someone's going to be consistent. Sadio Mane today and Luis Diaz were absolutely fantastic today. But ASM needs to learn from them. Yeah, it's end product has got to be better. It's decision making has got to be better, right? I know people's got to call us and say, ah, you haven't got ASM. No, I'm calling him out. Yeah, he, today he was poor. He was not good enough, yeah? And he's got a long way to go. Pete, let me tell you something, right? How many clubs are after him? How many clubs are after him? I can't think of anyone. Not that no one that to be linked with him, that's a thing. I can't think of anyone at all whatsoever. 50 million, they're going to think, oh, hang on a minute, 50 million quid, right? I'm going to have to, I want to see a lot better than I want him to be better than Manny. I want to see him better than Diaz, yeah? And ASM, I'm sorry, he's three year, four year, miles, years away from them, yeah? But at the end of the day, right, I mean, I'm not going to complain about the end of the day. It could have been a lot worse, yeah? It is I mean, one. Exactly. If that was under Bruce, you're talking about five or six for Liverpool, easily. We've got Man City a week tomorrow. That's another game we're expecting to be a write-off. But again, it's just get these now games out the way pretty much now. Absolutely, Pete. I mean, what I want to see again is if that's what you saw on the day, right? Defend properly, right? Which, in parts, we have, yeah? I thought the back four did all okay today, right? But the goal was definitely a goal. I mean, James Miller did win that tackle. I know people on social media are saying, ah, um, should have been stopped him start. No, he got the ball first, then he went in. To me, yeah, he went into him, right? And then they score from it and he just carried on. You play the whistle. You just don't stop. You play the whistle. Pete, again, right? When are going to ever learn? you got to play the whistle, yeah? But I thought Shelby did all right today. He just made those passes, trying to make those passes. There's just no runners at all whatsoever. That is the thing. This is why we need... We've got to play a front three. We need to rip up the front three and start again. Jordan's going to be kept. 
I don't think Mills. I don't think um, Jake Murphy's good enough. Ryan Fiesa, be a squad player. ASM, I love him, but is Eddie Howe going to keep him? I'm not so sure. We need a striker, and if that means paying seven to eight million for a striker, I'm sorry, you got to do the deal. It's as simple as that. Because Chris Wood, you know, he does try, but he's not going to take us to the next level. No, that is the thing. Um, absolutely. Well, of course, there is a game on here tomorrow as well for the Newcastle United women. I mean, that's going to be a great turnout. I mean, look what the owners have done to give the women a opportunity right here at this very ground. Absolutely. You know what it is? I think it's great to see the WSL take full effect. Yeah. I think it's great for the community. I think it's great for the city, right? And these owners care. They care. You know why they care? Because they want to be on our side, yeah? We love them, what they're doing at the minute, yeah? Mike Ashley, 14 year, has even thought this over, right? These people's comments are told, totally, am I correct? Six months, seven months on? What are they doing, yeah? They, they uh, laid everything in the plans and they put in plans together, yeah? And I think it's great for the Tavalas's um, team here. Yeah, I'd love to go out tomorrow, but obviously I cannot. But at the end of the day, Pete, oh, I was here. The city is back. Everyone's happy. And I just wish the lasses all the luck in the world. And I wouldn't do, this, do the business. See you, brilliant. There you go. Shorty, Newcastle and I are nil, Liverpool won. Of course, I think we all knew a defeat, but we didn't get beat by a great deal. I mean... Liverpool, we all know they're miles of streets ahead of where on the. They are. It was just a frustrating game how it all panned out, and I have to say we got beat by a better side today. I like, take nothing away from uh, Liverpool. I thought the goal could have been dealt with a lot better by ourselves. I feel like, I mean, at first I thought it was a foul on um, on Fabian Cher because you you only see it in real time, and then when you watch it back at half time and you look on the the TV monitor, they made the right call. Fabian Chair leaves his leg out. James Milner, you know, makes a good uh, challenge. We're all whinging at the referee. So is the players. Rather than concentrating, we leave ourselves too wide open at the back, and Kate has pretty much a tap in. Yeah. And um, from there, it was just a frustrating afternoon because I felt like today VAR was switched off. It wasn't getting used for for some reason. Um, there was a few uh, chances that we had which we you know, could have went in our favour. Liverpool were getting away with, but. I take nothing away from uh, Liverpool. Like I said they've got the quality. You know they're, they're chasing down Man City for the title. There's a lot at stake for them, and um, I just felt like it was a frustrating afternoon. I feel I felt like second half was pretty much the same. Liverpool should have been out of sight, and to have only lost one nil um, is, I'd say, a testament to the squad. I think it's a testament to Eddie Howe. Because if it had been Steve Bruce at the start of the season, I think we'll lose this game six or seven. I mean, don't get me wrong, Liverpool probably should have won, you know, three or four in the afternoon. I don't think we barely tested Allison, but there you go. I know that that's what we strive to be, and at the minute, you know, we're a work in progress. But you know, we've had a good second half of the season, and this has just obviously been my real test. Absolutely. I mean, it's. Summer's going to be huge for what we know. Some of these players aren't good enough. Yeah, Maxi wasn't good. Willick, I didn't think was that good the day. Chris Wood's not the answer to take us to the next level in terms of goals. The problem is with Chris Wood, how he plays doesn't suit our style of play. And of course, we're playing up against a good Liverpool side who don't concede many goals. So it was never going to be easy for him to come on to to try and you know get get a knock on or something and try and you know put the ball in the back of the net. We, we didn't do much you know, all afternoon. Uh, Maxi today very frustrating. You know when you when you look at a player like him, you know well, he's got so much you know ability, so much potential, but he just doesn't show it. He just on the ball at times he just you know rather than make the pass, maybe play one two, he doesn't do it. You know and, he, and he's on the floor too often and he just gives up you know the possession too quickly. Sometimes he doesn't get himself in the box as much as you'd like him to. You know I was watching Monet today and you you you've seen how you know he you look at um, Saint Maximin. Marnie is what he's trying to be, yeah. but Marnie plays a perfect, you know, he gets players into the game. And you've seen the you're sort of one, two, he played in the second half where he just put it wide right. and he should have made it two there and then. Um, that's a player there, you know, that, that, that's a player who's been well coached, someone who, you know, like, likes to, you know, to work as a team. That's what St. Maxman needs to learn. Yeah. He needs to, you know, put into his game for next season, otherwise he's not going to stay out very long and fans are you know, going to continue to get restless. Um, you said you mentioned Joe Willock uh, at times. Again, I don't think you've done a great deal. We didn't do a great deal in the final third, if I'm being brutally honest. We were giving the ball away too cheaply and uh, we're, we're rope a look at times. Uh, Dubravka made some really good saves. 
Uh, don't get me wrong, his distribution today wasn't very good, kicking the ball out. Um, but you did mention there's going to be changes in the summer, no question. Yeah. I think we need to bring in uh, four or five. I've mentioned this before. Don't bring too many in because you'll disrupt the rhythm. But there will be players out the door. It's as simple as that. Um, as I said, it, today was a real test of how far we've come. And um, I feel like we have come a long way under Hedy Howe. And you've, you've got to give you know, the, the manager credit. You know, It wasn't our result today. And it, it never was going to be. Uh, but, there, but there you go, you know, at the end of the day, we lost 1-0. It's food for thought for Eddie Howe and the, and the other coaches, and the players need to just move on now, dust down and go again for, for Manchester City. Well, yeah, I mean, we've got Man City away on week tomorrow, but we're not going to get anything out of that. It's never impossible. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, it's Manchester City, like Liverpool, a good side, but we all know that they can have an off day as well. Yeah. But if we can try and improve our you know, end product in the final third then who knows what can happen. But yeah, you'd imagine Liverpool, uh, sorry, Man City will get the result. Likewise, Liverpool today. <sighs> Listen, I mean, we've had a good season, or a good end to the season, should you yeah. say. Um, take nothing away, you know, from the lads. They did give it the, give it the role the day. I can't say that they didn't. But at, at times it was just... I would say it's not for the one to try. It's just a final third. It really puts you off. Um, and, it, and, you know, if you don't work the goalkeeper, then you're not going to get what you want. Absolutely. Do you think Fabian Cher could be done for the season? I mean, the way he hobbled off. Yeah, it didn't look very good. I mean, it probably re reached weights back to the first half, obviously, when he was he was fouled. But then again, I don't think it was a foul, uh, personally. But it wasn't a good challenge, if, if, if that's what he's saying, if that's what, they're, if that's what they're saying in the background. But I, I said I don't think it was a foul, personally. But I said um, maybe it could have been from the first half. But I really don't know. But I wish him a speedy recovery. Hopefully, he's not out for the rest of the season. But... By the looks of it, he, he is. Uh, Kraft also was uh, was going down quite often as well. He probably couldn't wait to go off, if I'm honest. Uh, right. <laughs> but anyway, Jacob Murphy, come on, nothing really happened there. But as I said, I think it was a good move by Eddie to take Kraft off, just so it didn't get worse, um, just to sort of rotate. We've got the points now. As I said, it wasn't a beat a day. We'll move on to Manchester City. We'll see where we go from there. And yeah, as I said, another frustrating day, but we'll just have to move on. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, of course... We'll be here tomorrow because we've got a game on here for the women. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a great turnout. It is. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a, you know, nigh on a 15, maybe 20,000 sellout. I mean, that's probably asking a lot there. But you know, Eddie Howe said he's going to be at the game, and hopefully, that might inspire more, you know, fans to go and watch. And you know, go and have a look. I think they deserve to to have the moment on the, you know, the the, the pitch there to to have the moment in the ground, and um, they deserve it. You know, they've had a good season. Uh, whatever happens, they're probably going to end up finishing second now. Um, but then again, stranger things have happened. But I said, um, I'm, I'm happy for them. And, and I said, you never know with the the crowd coming tomorrow, they they might be inspired to come next season. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you, Peter.